My name is James Legato. You are in my hoop house at my house in Hazel Park, and I run Mabel Gray, which is also in Hazel Park. So my girlfriend Sam and I moved to Hazel Park about seven years ago. We bought this house and we had a triple lot and it was just all grass. But we added this hoop house. We have about 30 fruit trees, two beehives, tons of wildflowers. To me, it was a, it was a life changing experience to turn my yard into a agricultural space here. The location benefited us for sure. I did hear some people remarking that it was, oh, it's crazy, you know, it's off the map. Nobody goes to Hazel Park. And that has not been true for the last eight years. There's a way that I cook. I want to I want to cook with the best ingredients I can find and do it my way. I wasn't going to compromise that, and I, I I hoped Hazel Park would be open arms, and they, they were they were beyond accepting. So Mabel Gray is pretty much known for its tasting menu. In the beginning, changing the menu was more for me, and now you know I want to cook what's what makes sense for purchasing. I want to buy something that's plentiful in season. I mean, I've had people at the same table have a varying course for their tasting menu because I just wanted to show off a duality or something. I, I think that having a chef's choice tasting menu has really allowed me to be as creative as I want, but being able to feature the farmers and the purveyors really exclusively, it's, it's a unique opportunity to not be held hostage by a laminated menu that is on the internet and is you know something that's been around. Uh, you know, People aren't coming to me because they heard of that one dish. I wanted to make sure that it never happened. My opinion of cooking varies so much on where I just came back from. So I, I travel a lot. I travel for food specifically, and I really get inspired by products and people and places. And I try to bring that back to the menu, honoring the experience I had as best as possible. Collaboration is a very important part of being a chef. I started doing a dinner series called Young Guns, and the Young Guns dinner series really featured Detroit area chefs that I was impressed by. So Young Guns kind of was like a, was a real kickoff. And I met a lot of people you know, people like Jack Aronson, chefs like Luciano really kind of, you know, opened up their doors. Like a lot of the veterans of the industry wanted to know what we were up to, wanted to know why we were doing this. And it started something where we were going to talk to each other. We were going to cook together and Savor Detroit, you know, came about quite a few years later, but it really reinforced that, you know, what's so, what's most important about this industry is that we're all the chefs are, you know, we're fighting the same fight. You want to tell your diners, hey, you can't eat at Mabel Gray every day. Go here when you're not at my restaurant. So Savor Detroit, especially this round, our really gave me the opportunity to kind of like couple them up and present this dinner series for eight chefs that I respect highly, and look forward to working with, and I eat at their restaurants all. I think that the most important part about Savor Detroit, from my perspective, is the collaboration. And I think the guest benefits because they get to see two very talented chefs creating together one time only. That's really the magic of it.